Hello guys, this is Second Genuine, and today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Android Nougat 7.0 Beta for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge without deleting your data files or any of the stuff on your device, including the settings. So first off, what you have to do is, is to download this application, which is called Smart Switch, and it can be downloaded either for Mac or PC. Once you have downloaded this file, Uninstall it and then go to more and re and press reinstall device driver without plugging your device to the computer. Otherwise, your computer will not detect your phone. After that, what you have to do is, is to reboot your computer and then reconnect your phone to the computer using a USB cable and then press backup. And all of your data, including your SD card, will be backed up on your computer. Otherwise, if you don't have enough space on your computer, then simply remove the SD card and just back up your internal memory. After that, what you have to do is, is to know your serial number. You can find your serial number back of your device or on the box, or you can check on your bill, or you can ask the place where you bought your phone from. So first off, what you have to do is, is to download a stock ROM, either from boyquack.com or from mrcrab.net but if you want to download a Stockholm faster then you should use pycracked.com so first off when you once you enter to this website go to Android tab then press on stock ROM now on this search engine input your model number so mine is SMG935F then press enter <clears throat> and then make sure that it is Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge click on that and then you should see various of stock ROMs for various of regions so mine is Dubai so I'm gonna input my region which is XSG 6.0.1 and I can download either this one or this one it doesn't really matter but I will download this one because this one was uploaded recently so yeah and as you can see the download speed is around 1 megabyte per second so and it doesn't take that long otherwise if you cannot find a stock ROM for your device here you can go to mrcrab.net all of these stock ROM are coming directly from sammobile.com so instead of signing up and signing in to sammobile and going some on some of the instructions you can just go to this website and input your model number and voila you can quickly download the stock ROM so what you have to do is once you enter mrcrab.net on search engine input your model number once you have done that scroll down then press on the first link and as you can see this these all sock ROMs are for Samsung Galaxy SMG 935F so mine is XSG United Arab Emirates so I'm gonna input that and as you can see, I found it here, so I can just click on that and it will directly go to rabbitgator.com. Once you have downloaded your stock ROM, drag it on your desktop. Then what you need to have is Odin, which is going to be on the description for that. Now what you have to do is, is to launch Odin and press AP and locate your stock ROM press open and leave your computer for a while since the stock ROM is quite large in size it may take a while or it may respond faster depending on your hard drive speed once the value here is shown and here it shows leave CS then you have to turn your phone to download mode simply hold power button until you see this screen, then press power off. Now, in order to go to download mode, hold down volume 
down button, home button and power button simultaneously until you see the blue screen. Now press volume up to access the download mode. Now that should do it. Now you should see a blue bar here as you enter to download mode on your device. Connect your phone to the computer and you will see this blue bar. And now what you have to do is to simply press start and leave your phone for 5 to 7 minutes. Once that is done your phone will be downgraded to Marshmallow 6.0.1 and you will receive ODE update without losing your NOX. After that what you have to do is, is to open up Smart Switch again and then press restore and all of your data will be restored to your device just like how it was when you were on Android 7.0 Nougat Beta. Thank you guys. Leave a like and subscribe for more useful videos and request me anything what you need related to tech.